that's some advice that I give to anyone that asks me is like, you know, like when I hear a track from somebody they're like, hey, do you think it can be released? Like, yeah, absolutely. But my next question is like, what have you got next? Right. On my YouTube channel, we have a series called Five Things Producers Need to Know. And I thought I'd get you to be part of that series as well. So what nice five one. things would you tell your young, tell your younger self, tell your kind of, or other people that they just need to know? Like it could be a DJ thing, it could be a production thing, it could be a life thing, but I need five of them. What are your five things? Right. So probably to tell my younger self, number one, tell my younger self, uh, stop procrastinating. Like just have no fear and don't be afraid to fail. Kind of going back to the, the one dance left, starting off, like just get off your ass and do it, you know, stop procrastinating. Mm. Um, like number two would be put the blinkers on. Don't pay attention to what's going on around you. Just focus on your journey. Be careful who you work with and who you trust for sure. We, I won't go down that rabbit hole right up, but, uh, yeah, be careful who you work with. Never give up. Just keep grinding. Like a lot of people I see in this industry quit because, you know, they produce a track and can't get a label to respond or the next one. And like time goes by and they just get discouraged. So like never give up. Just keep grinding. Keep making music. Keep keep working through it. Some and of that, some of that, some of that is like they'll they'll make like they'll make one track and then send it out and then have nothing to back it up with as well. And it'd be like they'll do this little kind of like growth like that and then and then stop again and then there'll be nothing for a long period and it'll just it just wind you down instead of taking that little bit of patience along the way and going right i'm going to make a ton of tracks and then i'm going to send them out and then i'm going to build up that like a, 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 i can start building momentum that's a, that's some advice that i give to anyone that asks me is like you know like when i hear a track from somebody they're like hey do you think it can be released like, yeah absolutely but my next question is like what have you got next because if you mm. put that out now you're not going to get anything unless you have something next and a lot of that can be out of your control like but the more tracks you have the more that you can send to multiple labels like to build your release schedule you know mm. so like like practice some patience and like don't rush it out because in the long run it'll be better if you get six months of a run versus one and an eight month gap you know and, and it's quite possible to do it, but you you have to be strategic yourself and but you you also need to have that music in the bag you know so if you're just making one track at a go and sending it out, then the likelihood is like you won't build momentum, you know. Hundred percent. And I, I, I'm now even like I'm asking the same question: What else have you got? But I'm also going. I want to sign two or three EPs or two or three singles because I want to have that. I want that on my roadmap. That I want to. If I'm going to spend time building one record, and you're small and you're new, then I want to build two or three because I want to spend yeah. that time building. You know, I'm going to spend. I'm going to invest money into building one record. Then I want to. I want the lo- a little bit long, more long term because it will help me grow. It will help you grow, and like I'll, I want to see that. And if it's only got one record, then I'm I'm kind of like come back when you you know come back when you've got more. Well, that's true. You know, like people don't understand the investment the label makes, too. You know, like and it's not fruitful unless you you hit the big time. Like it's it's a labour of love for me. And like me too. If I and I may yeah, I I see that in you too. And like like anyone who's doing it will understand that. But like. Maybe maybe I do my my social media thing is like let me break down the cost for you how much it costs me to run this thing and like <laughs> open people's eyes to like hey like this is how much you're investing and this is how much you actually get back which is you're you're in the red for all for nearly all the time until you hit the big time so yeah yeah pe- people don't realize that but you know when everybody that's involved does and that's like like mm. a, it's a labor of love but like that's why you say don't quit because if you love it like keep going but like build yourself a foundation which is like five to ten tracks and then mm. start approaching label because you have a better chance of building momentum while those are starting to be released you have that time to get new music and work on the next section you know like you kind of should break up the calendar year like in seasons or quarters you know quarter one or like half years and that's mm. what i'm trying to do now you know be seasonal you know 100 percent. Except, except except for december the worst month in the world to release a record december terrible like well oh, it's, it's, it, it, you're right like i i've i've recognized that too recently and what i'm what i'm trying to do now i think and it's for mental health as well mm. is because when you're locked in like you're promoting and you're making music and you're doing every single thing that it takes like to, like that that's needed these days like you need a break too you know so mm. my season as i call it is going to be march to uh, october which is mm. miami Ibiza. Amsterdam and then Indian. everything in between is festival season so November December January February for me I'm probably going to be super quiet I probably mm. won't release unless like it's with a label or like something but like there are my quiet months and then the other eight months are, are going to be my season you know makes sense yeah February I don't know February's 
all right for me. Like, because you think so. If you think February, you start leading up to Miami, and it's like if you can start building a record, and it hits Miami just before, then you're kind of cool. Like, but yeah, definitely not the December, January. Like, it's just pointless. Yeah, Christmas holidays, like people are like people are not even really gigging those times. Like it's it there's not much. And also also so. there's also the whole lot of Christmas music, there's a whole lot of end of year music. Like people are doing end of year playlists and end of year content and end of year radio show. And it's just it's just like you just, they just get lost. Especially small especially smaller artists. Hey, you got a B port number one record and you're trying to sneak it out in there next to Mariah Carey, like it just isn't gonna go it isn't gonna go off. So <laughs> No, no. Unless you're making a Christmas record. Someone should make a dance music Christmas record. Uh, I don't know if that was five or four or what, but I would say like like after that, man, just like enjoy the process because like it's a labor of love, like you said for you and for me as well. Like like if you're not enjoying it, like it's probably not for you, you know, because like you have to love this to do it. And like I see, I recognize that in you and Laz and guys like that and myself. And like like you can see it in the people that are doing it, but like kind of going back to the never quit thing. It's like you people give up too soon. I, I would say the best producers and DJs in the world we'll never hear of because they they started and, and gave up too soon, you know? That's cool. Agreed. Yeah. Weren't those five things great? Let me know in the comments which is your favourite and your biggest takeaway from this video. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you get notified every time we drop new videos. YouTube is now going to recommend another video to help your learning further. I hope you enjoy that one. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.